Time for Liquid against Gaming Gladiators. I'm Odie Pixel, joined here by Fog. So many things to talk about, of course, here being on the fresh new patch, as exciting as ever. We just had a fantastic series, of course, before this. Highly recommend going back and watching the, the replays on that one if you weren't able to catch it live. Let's hope we get another banger here with this best of three. Fogs, uh, straight up from the panel, we heard it, that heard them very much say, when you consider these two drafts, it does feel that Liquid, overall, They've got the more busted stuff. Would you agree or do you sort of see something that they didn't uh, with Gaming Gladiator's approach here on this new patch? I, I mean, I'd have to agree. IPL, I think everyone is seeing, is running rampant across the board. I think Nyx is, Nyx is really cool right now. I don't know, the burst damage that you can do on some of these heroes. Thank, I'm actually so happy to see it as a core too because I've seen a couple games of support. Looks okay, but I really want to see the full potential of it on, car on uh, core. I mean, there's crazy stuff all over the place. We saw Chen. Fly was as farmed as every single core when he played the Chen earlier today, and we've been seeing that also in the pub. So really interesting stuff. Uh, gaming, the one thing about the Pudge, I think what they're looking at, right, it's, it was an illusion killer in the last patch when you'd see like these Nagas and stuff like that. Certain players did like to go for it with your Rot, with your Aghanims and stuff like that. And Flesh Sheep, if you can get it off first, yep. you eat Skywrath ult completely. It sure. does literally zero damage every for Flesh Sheep. So, I, I don't know. I, I like liquids, but who knows what's going to happen in this patch because it's absolute chaos. And let's see what happens with lanes. Are we going to get tri lanes, dual lanes? What's going to really go down? How much are people going to be moving all over the place? Because, yeah, I think we're going to be seeing like oh, these four positions are just going to be duking it out all game. See Boxy and uh, Tofu. Tofu's getting blocked. I mean, they can definitely run him down a little bit here, Tofu. We got the right clicks, the blood grenade. Could be in trouble. Looking pretty dead. That's going to be first blood. Boxy, they'll take it. Blood Grenade seems so ridiculous. I think you should always have at least one or two to start the game on probably the two supports or something like that, because it literally just feels like a first It feels like first blood guaranteed every time. For well, sure. You know, you, you don't want to be the team or the, the the kind of hero turning up that doesn't have the Blood no. Grenade well, when you're trying to go for those sort of trades. And Boxy, he teleports after killing top down to bottom, gets a courier from behind the tower. <laughs> Already, as we said, there's going to be some unbelievable movements that come around here. Now, let's have a look at some of these lanes. Uh, the, uh, oh, Zai. Zai. Blood Grenade. He's getting pretty low. Look at, can they line up the hook? Duracho. Easy. Drags it's, him back. Gets the kill. It's very fast, this hook sure. now. You can't really kind of... Especially that sort of close range, right? Unless... I don't know. Unless the Pudge is just completely off the mark. Yeah. It, he's going to hit his hooks. And Duracho, you know, he, he's not the kind of lad that's going to miss him. No. It, especially with the Blood Grenade slow, right? Like, you just you kind of get it lined up for yourself. He's going to land another. Up. Straight in onto Zai, he's level 2 That's now, Drasho trying to stay on top of him with the Rot. Turn towards Boxy instead. Won't quite be able to get in range to, to run him down with the Rot hit. So other fun things that, I think one, I talked about it a couple times now, at least like with everyone here. Um, Enchantress has a little bit of a hidden thing. So if you look at Impetus, it got completely buffed across the board and it was not actually included in the patch notes. Oh! So every level is actually stronger, and the final level is five percent stronger than it was in the past. I mean, I expect this hero has been doing quite well, right? On yes. the, the new patch, this is a hero that's been getting the wins. And I'm looking forward to see the counter potential of the little friends, because you're gonna have the shard, you're gonna be playing versus Chen, you're gonna be able to turn this army against him. You have two charges as well of the enchant. That's gonna be pretty interesting to play around too. Celery's been doing pretty well on all these heroes. He, he summons his specialties. And then looking at other stuff, of course, we've seen Ace even before this patch. He likes Vanguard, Crimson Guard, and stuff like that. We Actually, saw how insane Crimson Guard was last patch, uh, last game. Because I mean, they, when you pop the active, but thanks to what the, the sixty percent extra block you're getting from your strength, yeah, you end up blocking so much. And when you look at the heroes that Liquid does end up having, the damage is not that explosive, right? It's it's gradual from no, a it's, PL, it's from a true. Monkey King, and stuff like that. So maybe, yeah. you know, Ace. He's got some tricks up his sleeve to no, deal absolutely. with these yeah, very they're, strong heroes. Yeah, these two cores are gonna, they, they're gonna hate playing into a Crimson Guard. Yeah. I mean, I'm super intrigued to see how everything does end up kicking off here. Bottom, we see Duracho. This is a good lane for him. Playing versus Nyx. Kind of always when you play this strength hero versus quote unquote Agi. Now Nyx, of course, is universal, but a kind of similar concept anyway, where you're able to. Yeah, well, you mean, don't confuse, him. but he's not an Agi anymore. I know, he's universal. Don't even mention it. He's universal. Confusing. The, is he universal? Okay, so. Yeah, universal right. Nyx. I point it out now, off, from memory, which one, which heroes are universal this game? Uh, the summons uh, heroes and yeah, the ones yeah. that are mixed. The ones that, like, didn't really have a purpose of why they would be, like, a quote unquote agility yeah. hero, right? Like the Maranas, even, like, Snapfire, who's a strength hero, but it's a spell casting strength. So, Universal, I think, has now been kind of decided on which of these heroes. But in this game in particular, what, so it's just the um, the Nyx and the Chen. And Windranger. And Windranger. Yeah. 
All right, so Liquid, uh, yeah. Got the two Universal, and uh, Gaming Gladiators with one. Enchantress, though, is one of the exceptions, who is not a Universal, but is a summon sure, hero. Is it, yeah. It's confusing. We'll get used we'll, to we'll it. We'll get that. We'll get that. Salary. Should be fine, Boxy. Little low mana. Ooh, oh, nice to come with the hook, but this time won't be able to quite get the connection. So Liquid's fine. Game in lane's looking good. Zai, he's the one who's behind mid. My Quinny is actually handing, he's handling the Monkey King better than we saw earlier today, where it was the Monkey lane. King versus Puck. Dash has got the hook. He's got it. Ah, but the Spike Campus was there in time. Doesn't matter. The rot damage will be enough to finish Zai off as Dracho claims another here on the safe lane Pudge. I'm looking forward to see what he's going to build on this Pudge, I too. think he's going to tank up, right? Yep. He just wants to be able to survive. If he tanks up and he, he's able to join in fights, Ace obviously having the Crimson Guard, there is the potential for them to make this Pudge feel pretty unkillable. Yeah, like what, Ag's Eternal? Is he going to go like the Eternal Shroud build? Something like that, maybe? I don't know. I've been seeing more Pudges buy it because you can just like rot and give yourself a big bonus from it. Boxy. Well, mid lane, look at this. Win, keeping his cool. They're both toying around each other. Uh, not quite got enough mana here to play back aggressively. In fact, might have to take the warp back to base here, Quinn. Gonna look for the refuel. Looks like Zai is going to be going down the Meteor Hammer route, so they have some extra push that comes from their offlane. And we'll see how people adapt also, because what I've been seeing in almost every pub, the high-level pubs, is you start looking at the clock more yeah, than ever. Se seven minutes. Seven minutes is coming. Six minutes, of course. Lotus, etc. Stuff like that. So... I mean, do either of these teams sort of have a setup that uh, that, could, that could sort of play to maintain control on both seven-minute XP runes? Or do you think it's unlikely? Uh, I mean, probably on, I mean, it, it just all depends on who moves faster. Yeah. Insania is setting up the gank. Mud Golems. Not going to do too much to Duraccio. Yeah, he'll be aware of it now. And Insania. And oh, he'll just clear out one of the Mud Golems here with a hook. He will still be able to chase him down quite a bit. Duracho is trying to stand his ground against Zai. He's got buddies. Whatever TP's coming in, he's going to be able to take down Zai. Will end up losing his life. We'll see if Topher and Celery can take out a support and return. They're looking towards Boxy. Power shot. It's not going to catch him. Boxy able to make it away. So just the one for one. They kill the carry, but of course not before Duracho was able to take Zai down first. And now 1v1 in the top lane. I, I mean, Ace is going to... I feel like Ace is going to just chill. What's a PL going to really do to threaten this Doom with a Vanguard? And here, yeah, the pings are coming out, guys. Yep. 20 seconds. Here we go. So she's, Wisdom she's, Runes. She's going to sort of be on top of these 7-minute XP runes. Tofu. Oh, he's got the wind run off. Hook's there from Duracho. He's ready to help out. As he gets the hook on him and staying here, able to turn with the power shot. Does get finished off there by the final stun of Zai. The impale just looks, it still just throws me off guard. The damage is instant becoming damage. instant. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, it's a quick refresh for, for anybody with the Nyx Assassin. Yeah, instant damage now on the impale rather than when they come crashing down out of the air. Mid lane. Uh, ooh. Quinn. Yeah, we were scared off there. Boxy turns up, so he won't be able to full commit onto, onto Nisha. He keeps the regen run, running onto Quint also. And yeah, we see Boxy now. He's going to start getting points in this Ancient Seal. The reason that they pick it, of course, was versus this Puck. High burst damage as well. And then uh, at this point, do you then max the Ancient Seal? Do you want the extra duration? Or, or where do you want to go from here to support Sky? I mean, usually in the past, yes. Yeah. But we'll see, because Boxy sometimes he can be a little bit more of a greedy player. But I would say in this game, yeah, you probably want to just now max it after having two points in Q. And who got the two Wisdoms? Uh, it was Tofuzai. Yeah. All's right in the world. Top lane, Doom. Nice. I mean, he's continuing to have a very, very good time up here. I mean, they, they sort of left Mickey on a bit of an island on his own, and they haven't really back, been back up there since. I mean, Insane is back up there now, but Ooh. not able to save the PL bottom lane. Trying to set things up here, Stellarie with the Wild Rim Ripper. Brings Zai back into the clutches of Duraccio. Gonna be another kill here. But uh, Duraccio's getting involved. I mean, already picking up five Flesh Sheep stacks. He's having a great start. Three, one, and two here on the safe lane Pudge, just eight minutes in. This is going to be a pretty ridiculous timing mm -hmm. on his Aghanims if he keeps up yeah. like this, yeah. And Ace, as you said, he will probably just go for that Crimson Guard build. And I mean, Tof well, yeah. And Tofu with his last moves, actually, too, he just stole the two bounty runes from the Dire Jungle. So that gold efficiency on their map is starting to grow. I mean, so, yeah, so this, so this Crimson as well, do you, do you rush upgrading the Vanguard into it, or do you think Ace will get some other sort of item before that? Mm. Like how much do you want to, or how much you need to prioritize it? He's, oh, he's, he's going to go back. He's just got to go Greaves, probably, Vanguard right? Vanguard into Greaves, and then probably look for the upgrade. I mean, they're both fantastic this game, so 
I mean, at the end of the day, all it's all is about here for Ace is just being able to turn up, keep Duracho alive so Duracho can pump out this insane amount of damage with the Ag's Rot. Good to chase down Insane, yep. I mean, look at this rotation for Duracho. He's able to come across as well to oh, get involved. Cool. Run down Insane here, dismembers there. Another killer. I mean, already we're seeing great signs here from Gaming Gladius in terms of how active they're getting. Quinn, who will get caught out by Zai. Zai able to quickly head over from the lane as he hits the six. Sets up with a vendetta. I'm, I'm, I really want to see if Zai is able to get farm. <laughs> right now he is having a pretty struggled game. One and four at the moment. I'm looking forward to see what he's sure. going to be able to do with the big burst damage versus at, this puck, of course. And see what sort of building he wants to get. Right? So he's yeah. obviously going to get this hammer first, but then, you know, is he, is he going to sort of build items that are going to be able to amp up his... You know, d damage potential, or, or do you want to try and build items for the teams? He's going to get gone on here by Duracho and Celery. It's so much slow. It's, it's another one. Yeah, there, there, this this Pudge Strap working fantastically. Duracho is getting so much right now. You see further rotations coming in. They're trying to punish Duracho. Boundless Strike for Nishras will continue to try and chase him down. They dispel the Jingu. And Tofu and Celery, they're able to hold the two of them back. Nice dodge of the power shot there with the Mischief. Duracho wants a hook. Ooh. Nice try. He's out. Actually, I don't think he, I think he did still get hit by that power shot. It's just the I infused so raindrop blocks and the, the the small amount of damage he did at this stage. I Duracho seven strength already, or eight strength. Sorry, seven yeah, stacks. Honestly, the, the, the involvement boy. that he's having. Man, this Pudge is uh, definitely being set up for success. And a 4K lead here, 10 minutes in. Especially if he's going to be buffed up from all these auras that are already mm -hmm. starting to kick in. I mean, Ace, he's got a mech, so I mean, Liquid getting just chased down constantly here. Quinn, let's go for a bit. There's some solo action, or at least trying for it. Okay, Ace is in with the backup. And Stanley up. He'll try and heal up, but Ace will be able to run him down in the trees. Another kill for gaming gladiators. As it's, it feels like it's just becoming a bit too much for Liquid. They're not really able to stop this. Getting overwhelmed from the moves. They've lost their top tower. And Zai, he's lurking around bottom, but is, I think Duraccio's just way too uh, he tanky. He can't do it on his own. He needs and so much more backup to do this. They're already here. Yep. They head straight over from the top half of the map to the bottom. They're gonna playing quick. Try with the setup, but this just is not happening for Liquid. No. They cannot kill Duracho like this. No, his eye still doesn't even have his meter hammer done. I mean, I, I mean at this point, honestly, I, I don't really know what they bring down to the bottom lane to kill this Pudge. Especially when he's farming close to his tier 1 tower. It's going to be very easy for gaming gladiators to come in and back Duracho up if Liquid try and make a move on him. Yeah, they have such good counter gank with the puck, right? And anyone who goes top is pretty terrified. Like, Ace is just. He feels pretty much immortal up here. He's got the tornado creep too, so he's got that extra bonus armor. Starting to get some neutral items. And yeah, mid lane, we don't talk about mid lane anymore. It's all about side lanes. This is the new Dota. I smoke up from both sides, and they'll catch each other. Him. See Tofu get caught by the silence. Boundless Strike and Mystic Flare will put an end to the Wind Ranger. Celery. See if they can take down the Enchantress as well. Definitely a bit of a tricky kill. He's got a full wand and a fairy fire. And Quint, he's there to help out if necessary. And in fact, it won't be. They won't bother. Wasting any more time chasing Celery. They're pressuring mid as well off of this on the side of gaming. They already get top tower swing over to mid as well. Yeah, they're the ones setting the pace very much so here. And uh, yeah, Duracho very close to an Aghanims. They, they might have a chance of getting him this time. It's a good move. They've got here. Well, pretty much four heroes heading his way. TPs are coming in. A Duracho, he'll nice fall. A very needed kill there for Liquid. We're seeing the itemization. Nisha's trying to go very battle heavy early. Diffusal Blades queued up versus the strength cores. Ace. They have to hit him with like everything yeah, here to bring it, it, it down. He's also another tough target to go on. They need pretty much the, the full four of them as they do have here. Zai scouting things out. Sets things up. And the hammer, the Wukong's command. Ooh. Ooh. Nice attempt to Wobbling Ripper out to the side. Let him live a little longer, but the Primal Springs there. Nisha closes in. A couple more hits, and Ace is gone. The, 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 has taken the fight rather close to the tier two tower. So Duraccio, Celery, they come in, they take out one. Won't have anything to stop the TP from Zai, though. So Zai gets out, and Liquid, good numbers. a good couple of kills. You know, yeah. Really putting the pressure onto Duraccio. They take him out. They're also able to turn it into a kill on Ace. They only lose, end up losing Boxy for it. Yep, and Mikkei, he is, you know, still farming. Sure, you know, he's, he's still got he's this, on his own top. Yep, he's got this what, defusal midnight? finished up, and we've seen what the, I mean, we, in man. pubs, of course, we've seen what these PLs are able to do of just running rampant if they do get left alone for some time. So Liquid with some nice aggressive moves. Bringing the numbers. They literally bring, what, four heroes to be able to persist, push tower, and get these kills. Yeah, nice try from Ace. He still got clipped. Yeah. I mean, he was, honestly, he was super close to being able to live just that, yep. that long enough to get back to the safety of the tower. And next time, next time that he gets, he, he may just be able to. So 
I'm sure Liquid, they, they get these kills, but indeed, we're seeing how much they need to use to be able to get them right now. And Sandy also got the tower, so, you know, they do get a little bit of a double benefit from getting that kill plus tower. 10 to 7. And look, the lines are being... Teams are talking, they're like, oh yeah, 13 minutes, 52 seconds, the Wisdom Rune, it's coming back up. Seems more on point for that. And we're seeing, most, at least from what I'm seeing, obviously, uh, most teams, they're warding on top of these Twin Gates, because there doesn't... There isn't really other great places to ward around those areas, and they're so damn important. So we see Topu, he does get a D ward in that area, and he's even gonna get this one up here. So he actually just gets back-to-back -back D wards on this Wind Ranger. That's all right. It's on the hunt. Vendetta up in five seconds. Him and Boxy. Good chance to combo pretty much anyone other than Ace and Duracho down. The other three will die to, to the two of them rather easily. They're going to they're gonna steal the Wisdom Rune. And they want to go grab it. And indeed here, yeah, our beautiful Wisdom Rune camera. We'll see the Liquid. They did their maths. Two times seven, it's 14. And that means two XP runes for them. Yeah, actually, let's look at the XP right now. So Gold Leader now at the moment is about 4k for gaming, but the XP only is a little bit there for them, so... Cool stuff. Smoke. Gaming looking to kick that pace, trying to find this PL who's been sitting back and farming. Mickey could get caught here. I've got the coil set up. Oh, nice. He's ready to run this down. They won't... Oh, they might not. Do they need the doom? He's got Doppel. He's going to be able to get up to the high ground. He's actually away. Ace not quite able to close in. You get the follow-up, the try with the power shot, but it's off the mark, and Mickey lives. So an uh, unsuccessful attempt this time. I mean, Quinn's in. Is, oh, okay, wait, whoa. Uh, Wait, Quinn. Quinn? Oh my goodness, he's crazy. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, wait, 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 I appreciate the attempt there. Uh, I don't know if his teammates will. Uh, but he went for it, he didn't get it. He's probably like, why didn't Ace do him? <laughs> and then I wouldn't have felt forced to jump in there. I mean, more of that. Sorry, that's it. I, I love those sort of plays. Uh, but uh, yeah, not not normally great for, for the team. Good hand to God. I mean, Insania bails him out so, of that tough situation, yeah. of course, with it. Alrighty. Back and forth we go. Boxy has a veil. And he actually did max the Q. So only level one point in the silence. Okay. Different approach. And uh, he's out of there. Whoop. Sneaky. Just in time as well. They're going to go for Roche. Okay, they've got the rally. Yep, should be able to take it down pretty nicely. Yep, they actually have... Oh, the skeletons did... Oh, no, they still have them. Yeah, they have six stacks, so 18 bonus damage on everybody. And Liquid, yeah, way too far to be able to contest this. I think those timings, as we saw. Duraccio, of course, with how good of a start he was getting. Great timing on the Ags. Okay, and he is just going to... Looks like at least just a straight BKB afterwards. Cool. And we'll see what approach Ace, Ace goes down, if he wants to have a secondary form of initiation, like a blink for his team, or if he's just going to be that full aura bot that we've seen him do sometimes on this Doom. Well, Zai. Do they have it? Set up. Not quite going to have the, the long enough to, to set Silence. up the hammer, but the Ancient Seal and the Invisible Mystic Flare will do it. They kept that in the patch. You know, it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's always going to be difficult for Quinn inside of these, like, in these random areas. Like, it's very likely he does get caught from Zai and, and Boxy doing these type of moves. And making space. Gaming might be might be farming very well with that net worth, but this PL... This PL... He is farming. There's a reason why it's... Uh, what's this win rate like? It's something ridiculous. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, closing up on about 60% win rate, at least yeah. in the high-level pubs. Which is... Uh, that's a big number. It just feels very strong when you get yeah. these timings, get your, like, free shard and stuff like that. Everything just amps him up so much, and... Hey, you know, we did give it a lot of, kind of a lot of crap last patch, but in a lot of games you looked on paper and you're like, this is an amazing PL game, so. Sure. I mean, overall, w would, you sort of, would you sort of say this about this one or not necessarily? Do you, like, do you feel gaming gladiators, they do still have good ways to deal with the PL if, if this does go on and the PL starts to get to sort of that top net worth super farm, which is closing in on Celery. Uh, Pudge can be a good answer if he stays ahead. Yeah. If he starts to like fall a little bit behind, then they just quickly turns massively in the PL shooter. But besides that, the other heroes don't really deal with him. Oh, I like this so. as well. Zai's going for the correct build. Is he doing the Dagon? Hammer into level oh, 5 Dagon. Maybe. I mean, it's so much damage. It's so much damage. Of course, he's not got it yet, but it will only be amped up even more when he has the Mind Flare. And of course, even the value of just getting that one point in it, it's a bonus 30% damage. Uh, you know, th bonus 30% of the damage you dealt to the target that you're hitting with it in the last 15 seconds. So you come up with a Vendetta, the Dagon, the Stun, and you hit him with the Mind Flare. It is an insane damage, new overall. Insania? He's healing. He's alone. Dyer's top tower 
it's not enough. But I, Liquid is just playing the farm game, right? They're just—it looks like everyone's just splitting up the map and farming, gaming. They're the ones hunting at the moment, and they will go for the blink. I like this actually on Ace because they have to. It looks like they have to kind of hunt Liquid at the moment from the way everything is going down, how they're farming with multiple cores here. Sure. And we spoke, you know, last time around, you know, if, if Quinn's sort of jumping forward, getting in deep with the Dream Coil, they really do need Ace to be able to follow up, slam yeah. down that Doom so they can kill these pesky heroes Whoop. like the PL. Haste is purged off. And they've got the detection prepared. Nicely done. Another flesh heat for Duracha. Still big. Oh, they catch Quinn here. Uh-oh. They got him with the combo. Boundless into the Ancient Seal, nothing to be done about that one. Quinn goes down again. He's here on four. He is really struggling versus the Instant Silence and these very quick stuns that Liquid does have. It's true. He's obviously going to try and get himself the Blink next, but uh, yeah, you've only got to imagine after that. Yeah. Probably going to consider something that could bear them out of those sort of situations or give them some sort of a chance. Cause I mean, oh, Boxy has... Boxy's level 10. So now he has Max Silence as well as that Max Nuke. So yeah, for Quinn, he's got to... I mean, it's usually you see like the Yules or the Aeon somewhat picked up very early if it starts becoming too problematic. But we'll see. Because sometimes these pucks, they do like to really go down their usual build. Oh, Zai. Unfortunately, putting a bit of a hold on the Dagons for now. He wants a blink. Oh. Well, they, they will sense. come. They will come later. And yeah, we do see a... Oh, an SNY for Mickey. It got buffed. 2% more movement speed. He's just trying to tank up, and if, if the situation comes where he does get doomed and stuff like that, that status resist is pretty cool. I mean, they're thinking about going for them, but Liquid's got the smoke. Dracho, see if he wants to go for a blind hook. He's got a minute left on Aegis. I'll see if he just wants to blink and aggressively throw his body in there. And deep through these last moments of, of having the second life. Okay. It's not going to be spotted out immediately. So the illusions now. Disha. They're to get the jump around the back lines. I mean, Mickey stepping forward. They want to try to take this fight. Zai, beautiful Big stun out of the two. And then Dracho will get the dismember off here. On to Mickey. Follow up stun as well. Tons he's healing. Finish him up, but indeed, he's able to jump out of the side. Mickey's going to be saved. Too it's many auras. Three dead on Gaming Gladiators. Mickey's perfectly fine. And now Gaming Gladiators, the last remaining two of them. Dracho and Tofu completely out. But Zai, again, able to line up a fantastic two man stun. As they take the ages out of Dracho. Dracho is able to blink out. Tofu nope. will get focused out by Mickey and Insania. He's up on the cliff. They know where he's at. They're ready to take him down as well as Liquid. They'll be able to get the team wipe and they will lose nothing. Five for zero. Oh, and they're full health. <laughs> Everybody's full HP. Look at the buffs. They've got Cloak Aura. I love Nisha's itemization too. Mage Slayer, he actually reduces all the damage of the Pudge trying to go for this PL and he gets the initiation himself. Yeah, this is a crazy amount of buffs. Quinn? Again, going down, 0-5. The farming for Liquid, it's absolutely paying off. It is, they've taken the lead now. And gaming, they it, it, they felt forced. Like, they're trying to get these type of jumps to bring down the peel, but he had he barely even got hurt. The auras, the pipes, everything is online already. I mean, that's the, that's the thing as well. You know, if Gaming Gladiator is going kind of all in like that at this stage, and, and they're not getting the kills, it, it doesn't really feel like they have heroes that are going to sort of see a, a, another sort of damage spike anytime soon with the progression. It's, it's only going to get harder for gaming. They have to get some big pickoffs, it feels. And in the meantime, they actually died, and this was Liquid who ran around and crapped all the wisdom runes also. Oh, yes, 21 minutes. Oh. Then, well, they got both of them again. Well, I don't know, because my game crashed. But oh. <laughs> yes, they did. Too much stuff's going. Too many auras. My game can't handle it. A very, very rough fight there for gaming gladiators. Like they, they, they almost get Mickey, but at the same time, like even if they do, let's say, everyone else is full health, they're overwhelming him. Yeah, you can see Duracho, he's like, huh. Yeah, well he, then. He knows now. They're tanky. The game is, is getting into a tougher and tougher position. They'll be able to get their Tormentor. Does hit 20 minutes, that wasn't taken away. Um, Celery. Celery, careful. Celery. Careful. <gasps> Tofu, careful. Okay. And Zai, he's actually the bottom net worth of everyone on his team. Sacrificial Lamb. So you've seen these, I mean, Chen is, Chen just farms so much in this patch. And oh my goodness. They actually have a, it's, he's rushing a Hex on Boxy. Oh. Another form of catch for the puck. I, I mean, yes. Yeah, what does Quinn do? I was going to say, she's going to make the game even more miserable for Quinn. He is not having a fun time in this one. I'm the most fun he had was probably dive in the base. But he died. <laughs> Indeed, it, it didn't end successfully. And Liquid's on the hunt now. Another grab. Boxy. 10 and 1 and 4. Super solid. Well, 14 out of these 17 kills he's been a part of. 
For gaming, I, the next real big timing, it's going to be with Duraccio's BKB, and then they have to find some type of explosive fight to stop Liquid just Liquid just hunting, but also getting excellent farm on the important heroes. And they'll find Ace. find Ace. Sets up with a spike carapace. Not a chance here for Ace. Uh-oh. I mean, it's, it, it's only a, sort of a 1k to 2k lead, but considering the advantage Gaming Gladiators did have, and with the way these moves are going, it... It's going to be difficult. They're going to have to come up with some sort of magic here to sort of reclaim control of this game, folks. It does feel like it's it's going to start slipping away from them at quite a rapid pace. It feels like it already really, I mean, has quite significantly because Mike, he's going to start being able to tank up that much more where the Pudge, I mean, we already saw what the Pudge was trying to do, of course, to counter PL, but there's these auras, right? It, pudge is all magic damage. There's Mage Slayer, there's Cloak Auras, there's Pipe. It addresses that rot. Oh, and they're going down bottom. Tofu's like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Time to get out of it. And he will. Whoop. Quinn, we'll be all right. Still wants to get that Kaya next, Quinn. Zai's I, I going to look for him. But Zai so might walk under vision. Let's see which route he takes. Radiant He's just scouting things out. And Ace, I mean, Ace is going to have Crimson Guard. So they are going to have some type of auras of their own, but... I mean, they They'll be able to survive, but will they be able to kill the PL is the question that's going to come out in these next few moments. Excellent. Let's see, Duraccio. If Zai can get a plus one here, they'll, they'll get a very easy kill. He's got the monkey rotating over. Might be a bit too deep. Yeah, he's not going to step out into the river anyway, so he's playing it safe. All right, so for gaming now, I mean, BKB's done. So on the Pudge, now is where they have to try to find Zai. Mike and try to slow him down. He might be able to go for this one instead. He's going to look towards Tofu. He didn't have quite enough damage, actually. Tofu's able to live, and Dracho and Ace were able to back him up. He, okay, Nisha will clear. He did that very close to the tower. Bit risky. They see Mikkei. With the Pudge BKB, this is their attempt, this is their best chance to catch him. They really need this kill. And already with that status resist, he's able to get out of the coil pretty quickly. Insta silence well onto Ace, but Ace is able to remove the silence and finds the opportunity to lay down the Doom. Duracho's on him. he's an on him as well. They're going to be able to get the kill on the PL and maybe even more. Just remember, to hold Nisha in position, he's able to get the balance strike off the onto Ace. Ace is able to blow himself to the side of the Wild Ripper, but it's not enough to keep him alive. And now Boxy and Nisha, they can kite out Duracho. They'll kill him off. Boxy, he's just not dying. Jump forward from Quinn. Finally, Quinn's able to put an end to him. But it's the done. stun's there as they catch out Quinn. A triple for Nisha. As Insania, with the micro, able to continue to cause further issues here for this puck. It's a good kill they get on gaming, but it costs them so much time. The ne yeah, Nisha just comes in, and then that's the secondary carry. Actually, the first carry, pretty much, because he's also 0, z 7, 0, and 10. Scaling massively. It's the right move, though, from gaming. Like, they need to try to force this and try to get these kills to stop this liquid from scaling so much. But yeah, level 19 now on Nisha after that. Right, tier 2 taken, liquid. Yeah, you continue can to, to sort of just pull out of control, and we see. Yeah, as you, they have to throw everything. They on have the PL. to. Whatever happens in these fights, you know, Mickey must die. But indeed, at this point, the problem is that the other hero is starting to scale up rather well as for, for Liquid, and it's not quite able to finish off Nisha here in that moment. I mean, a Boxy just incredibly tanky too. <laughs> I mean, this Int, right? Int versus these uh, magic damage things is now sure. just insane when you do I mean, stack up that intelligence. Yeah, he's still just was standing under this. Underneath this Aghanim's rot, and it looks like he's taking no damage at all. Hey, look at his look at his base magic resist. They'll yeah. find another catch. Deletes Ace. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he has 16% base magic resist bonus. His Boxy tanking spells. I will get Boxy this time, but not without further casualties themselves. Nisha picking up another Dracho. He's got the hook. Mikkei was there in time, and Nisha he's, he's going to be able to continue to stand his ground. Duracho's going to try and run. And here's Mikkei. Well, the bash is there. Mikkei and Nisha ready with a chase down. Duracho's out. Boundless strike. Catch it onto the two of them, Quinn. He'll manage to orb out in time. But Nisha now godlike. They just keep getting these picks. Everyone just dies to a stun combo plus a Skywrath. The Knicks in the sky, honestly, are just making unbelievable space for these cores to pop off. I mean, Nisha 9-0 and 10, but he's been enabled so well because of Zai's constant movements and sacrificial, like the sacrificial lamb of his, yep. the way his play style is. Uh, Bottom net worth as the cores, but making so much happen. Straight to the pit. No way that uh, gaming gladiators can get to, to this area of the map in time. How many Lotuses do they have? And, and that's our complete arm as well, Boxy. 
Oh, they're actually Black. pretty close to having. They Wait, have. No, they're not. What, what, what they got? What's the status? I think they're at at almost two greater. Two, let me see. I can't even do the math on this anymore. Nah, well, they got two healing. Two healing, one great. So they have two. They have a one greater. Oh, okay. They're a third of the way there. Then. Third of the way there. Uh, it's it's going to take some time. Okay. Maybe a little bit longer. Oop. Celery. In trouble. Ace as well in trouble. He can't hide. He can't run. Crimson giving him a bit of damage block. But uh, not more than he can do than just try and juke this out. It's a slow death, but a painful one. And Quinn, he gets caught again. They're able to catch the puck. They're now 29 to 60. There's 11k lead here for Liquid. This has to be one of the roughest games for Quinn ever. 2-7-1. to one. Playing into this Nyx, playing to this guy. It's absolutely answered anything he can do. 11k lead. And yeah, now with Aegis, with Cheese. Not the block of Cheese. No. But more than enough to be able to persist forward here. And for gaming, oh, item timing's next for them. I, everything's just been so slowed down because they just kept, keep getting picked off. That's a solo kill. No, boxing. He has a Hex. He's crushing it. The fine Zai. Zai. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, he does end up going down there to the, the damage of the rock. See if they can get the two of them out of here, Duraccio. Is that going to end up hooking Nisha back in? I mean, Ace is here. They'll go for Instania. I'll get the jump on the chat. And in fact, they'll drop the Doom down onto Instania. Make sure there's not going to be any healing or such coming out from him. But the, the rest of the team is coming now. And now it's, they've, they've got to attempt to get out. Duraccio, though, looking to have little to, to no chance of escaping this one as Mickey's in on top of him. Ace doing his best to walk this off, but he cannot. I cannot believe how farmed Oxy is. <laughs> he's, he's got the same net worth as a Doom, Owen. I mean, yeah, and honestly, just feel this has been the situation, well, thanks to Sean, so sort of how quick these build ups of this magic resistance, that that there's been cases where he, he, normally a Scarif would die. He's not dying. No, he's so he's tanky. He's not dying. He's living through these fights. Oh, uh, yeah, he's sitting, he's constantly sitting at like 40% magic resist and an insane amount of armor whenever he gets any connection. Liquid if. Seem to have found an excellent strategy getting these very, very strong heroes in the current patch. Oh, yeah, I mean, as you say, we did sort of feel it from the draft. The Liquid uh, may have done a bit more homework coming into this one. For now. Until the next one. And then we'll see. And now, yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to be able to push forward. Respawns, even when they come out, Doom is on cooldown. And they need every little bit here for gaming. But this, yeah, this is an unbelievable. This is a core Skyrath, ladies and gentlemen. Same net worth as the puck. He's crushing it. He'll, he'll treat himself to a glimmer cape next. I mean, why not? Even more sort of insane chance to, to survive for any any sure. instance of magical damage they throw at him. And uh, as you can see, indeed, <laughs> sort of, uh, well, this is him compared to, yeah, Ace on, on the Doom, a hero yeah. that's uh, normally known for having insane net worth. Uh, but Boxy's taken over. Oh, this is hype. Super fun to see. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of Skyra. I think so. I, it's giving magic resist is definitely going to be something that people have to factor in. He's hunting. I Quinn might get solo grabbed here. Boxy is looking for him. Uh-oh. It's on the prowl. Oh, no. He's so close as well to getting a Lincolns. He's out. He knows okay. not to stick around any longer than he needs to be there. Can they stop this push, though? They're still in ages for about one minute left on Liquid. It's not going to be easy. Coil. They're going to go in. And McKay. He's already away. That's Quinn. They'll focus him instead. Drasher puts the BKB. They'll take out Zai first, or at least try to the heels come in. It won't save Zai. They take out Zai, see if they can get Duraccio back to the safety of the base. Trouble. Trying to get out, but he's clawing the Wukong's command. Duraccio goes down. Quinn also gets clipped by the stun. Only Zai drops everyone else full HP. I mean, and they're diving the base now. Quinn. Silence is going to catch on to Quinn. Duraccio, he'll buy back. But Mikke, he's jumping in aggressively. He wants to continue to try and chase down Quinn. Quinn will get the phase shift on the Duraccio. They're on Mikke. He's got the dismount of the Doom. It's been dropped down onto Mikke as well. As this time, maybe it's Mickey that dove a little bit too deep. They kill off the PL and get a whole lot of money for it. I don't think they expected that buyback from Duraccio. Yeah, he Ace. was quick with that as well, ready to back up his teammates here, Duraccio. Not, not to, he was not going to let them get dove upon here. We'll see them chase here, to, but Boxy's able to tell with the Mystic Play. Huge amounts of damage. Nisha, he'll look to stand his ground. Duraccio trying to get in. He goes with this member, but he gets caught by the stun. Duraccio, that's a dieback. Out for 90 seconds. Let's see if the rest of Gaming Gladiators continue to push onward, but Celery. Caught by the Ancient Seal, another God. kill for Nisha. I mean, Nisha just standing his ground with Boxy. 
Foxy has 235 int right now. Oh, we don't even get to see his damage on that fight recap. Maybe the next one. I die back. Oh, yeah. I got on the next one. Foxy did 5,600 damage there. There it is. <laughs> they pushed forward a little too far, but they feel desperate to go for these kills on Quinn. gaming. And now Quinn. Oh, he's going to drop the Dream Cop, but he gets caught by the Balance Strike. Ace jumps in, but he gets immediately hexed there by Boxy. Shackle, but no damage. And Ty, he's in from the side. Stun onto the two of them. Nisha moves in onto Ace. And he's gone. See Ace later. goes down. Tofu will try and win run away from this one, but Boxy lays down the magical damage. Another kill for him. 15, 3, and 17. And Nisha tips Mickey. <laughs> he's like, good job, PL. I look at Mickey's damage. <laughs> he's done 11k. <laughs> Oh, Boxy and Nisha are going crazy. the ride on this one. Yeah. Wow. 16 at 0 and 14 on Nisha. They're just playing so well off of each other in gaming. They committed a whole lot to try to get these kills, and they only were able to find one. And Boxy's just looking oh, for another. In. <laughs> all right, all right. He's going to take some tier 4 hits. All right, they want to hold off on using the buybacks, ideally. Gaming Gladiators, they're, they're, you know, they're going to have the full team back up in 10 seconds. Dracho. Sorry. Not going to him with the, the hook. They'll try and play safe around the tier fours. We'll see how much more liquid we want to push on for. Insania, the little friends, they're turning on him. But he's fine. And it just won't be enough to finish him. And now Celery He's getting burst slow and he's going to get taken out with the final Quinn. hit. Quinn, he tried to jump in for this, but he gets caught by the silence. Quinn's gone. Duraccio and Ace, they'll try and get in on the front line of this fight. They drop the Doom down on Sadisha, but Nisha already had the BKB off. Standing his ground here will force back the two of them. The hook's there. Duraccio trying to bail Ace out of this, but Boxy jumps forward, chasing the back of the fountain. Zai lines up another perfect two-man stun. It's over. GG's called Liquid. They will completely smash this game one. I think Boxy...